Now, WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. You know, the atmosphere surrounding Blue Devil Gym was a bit more intense than usual this afternoon, and for good reason. Quincy High, of course, is coming off a tough Tuesday night conference roll loss against Galesburg, and now they have the pioneers of Alleman headed to town tomorrow. QHS head coach Andy Douglas was looking for a lot more defensive intensity on the hardwood during today's practice session that got underway just after 315. The 13 and 8 Blue Devils are now 5 and 3 in the conference rankings after falling against the Silver Streaks 66 to 52 just two days ago. The Devils will face an Alleman team that's winless in conference play so far this season and the Pioneers are also coming off of a disappointing 53 to 42 Tuesday night setback against Moline. The Blue Devils beat the Pioneers 60 to 29 back on December 10th at AHS, but that doesn't mean that this uh, QHS team is entering this game overlooking AHS at all. They're just striving to really get better. Uh, we know the energy's got to be at an all-time high. Our defense has got to be fantastic. Uh, now it's, you know, we, we tell our guys it's not necessarily who we play. Uh, we're playing against ourselves. We're trying to beat ourselves and get better every single day, and we got an opportunity tomorrow night. Should be a nice matchup to check out. Meanwhile, QHS junior forward Brady Rupert is certainly ready to help the Blue and White post another victory on their home floor at Blue Devil Gym in front of their diehard fans that continue to believe in this year's squad. Rupert believes that the best is yet to come for the Blue and White down the road. Uh, right now we're uh, we're doing pretty good. We're, we took an L at Galesburg, but we'll pick up from that this game. Defensively, uh, we just got to talk more and do, do the little things, and if we do that, we'll be great. Defense, defense, defense. Meanwhile, at Pepsi Arena, the Hawks of QU will try and soar past the 8 and 10 Cardinal of William Jewell College tonight on the college hardwood. 10 and 8 Quincy University is eager to snap their three game losing skid this evening in the Gym City while also improving on their four and six slate in the GLVC. But the task at hand tonight won't be an easy one. It uh, really played well on the perimeter and, and probably the uh, one of the best big men in the league, and Eshan Wiley, uh, who rebounds it, scores it, uh, blocks shots. He's kind of a do-it-all type guy for them. So they've got four really good players and a good cast of uh, supporting cast around them, and it'll certainly be a tough one for us. Again, tip-off on that one is set for 7:30. Meanwhile, the QU Hawks men's tennis team has been selected to finish sixth in the West Division this season in the Great Lakes Valley Conference preseason poll that was released earlier today. QU picked up 22 points in the poll while perennial power Drury University was tabbed to finish first with 72 overall points. Seven of those were first place votes. The QU men's squad under the direction of interim head coach Mark Marsat will open the spring season Friday morning at 11 a.m. against Maryville at the Quincy Racquet Club. Yes, it's that time of year and Q&D head ba boys basketball coach Kevin Meyer will join Ryan and Brock on WGM Sports Center. That's tomorrow morning. The youth sports spotlight is also on the menu of delights. You don't want to miss that. The fun starts at 7 a.m. on WGM Sports Radio. That's ESPN 1440 98.9. That's a wrap for sports. We'll be back after this.